Here they are, tickets. Got a big machete at the first stop. The second stop yields me some kitchen knives I've never heard of before. A nice buck pocket knife. And then I got a restaurant knife and knife for Norfolk. Got some Dexter's, a Gingsu, Cuisinart. And I presume this is a Hankum, but I ain't sure. Got a broken tip on it though, look. And the third stop, fourth stop was a buck 110. Oh baby. And the fifth stop was two fixed blade knives. This one says JB on it. Sharpened at the top and the bottom. And this one is just sharpened at the top. There's no blade on the bottom part at all. Pretty cool little knife. I don't know who made it. I don't know anything about it. There's no marks or anything on it. Nothing on the case. Okay. Well, the hurricane is uh, coming our way now, getting close. My leader's put some grass seed down. It's sprinkling pretty good. And I just got home with a few tickets. I think it's going to be the only tickets I see today. Let's go take a look, see what they look like. Ah, one of my Indians is inside. Hi, little Indian. We got some hunting stuff. We got a big old Dexter Cleaver, a big Ontario chef's knife, uh, Cafalon. Not sure about this ticket yet. Got to clean it up a little bit. And this is Swing Blade. North Knife Works, Alaska. Okay. Well, everything's finished, all cleaned up, polished up, waiting to go home tomorrow. Weather has no change since the last time. Or I just met the guy over here to drop off the cleavers and the kitchen knives and the pocket knives from yesterday. <coughs> and look what he gives me. A Gerber, big case knife. He says, it needs to clean it up a little bit. What do you think of that? <laughs> I say it does. That's been in the sheath too long. <coughs> my wife says I gotta get home. Says my milk box is full. And some guy's coming by with some axes and hatchets, she said. I don't know what that means, so I get that. Stand by. Well, you may recognize this bag. This is my knife, best knife customer ever. You'll recognize the knives when we get them out of there. And these are knives dropped off. My wife brought them inside. And as we speak, I got a guy driving over here now with his hatchets and axes and I don't know what else. We'll have to see.
About every three, four months, he brings these knives to me, Charlotte. They're not the best of steel. That's why the edge leaves them, but he likes to get them sharp. They're not, they're not dull by comparison to a lot I get, but he wants them sharp all the time. That's a good thing. Nice little shun in the towel. Uh, Henkel International serrated, a Wustoff, and a little Cutco, and cash. This guy pays ahead of time. Always too much. Well, there's the other stuff. Lopers, hedge trimmers, and an axe. A relatively new axe. And a few little chips along the blade. Man brought me two big boxes of peanuts. <laughs> them peanuts, I hate them. Competition throwing axes. One of my newest knife rental customers has a sports bar, and they have four hatchet throwing bays. I guess you call them. So along with their knives that they're renting and the pizza cutters, they wanted some hatchets. So I got them some hatchets to go along with their exchange. So now I exchange hatchets and knives in about 10 days. Be the first, they get ready to open, it's a brand new place. You never know about this kind of business. <laughs> Rental hatches, great balls of fire.